so I got a new uh, graphics card recently. And so I'm going to try again streaming at 60 frames per second. And hopefully that will uh, work out well this time. But yeah, so today uh, we're continuing uh, one of every block in every version. We are still in Inf Dev 2010, June 18th. Um, and we've got a good amount of items left. Largely, it looks like diamonds and gold are the uh, the resources that we need to really, you know, get moving. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay. Oh, that's right. We made a minecart, <coughs> which minecarts. Uh, I guess they work like chests in this version. You can like put items in them. Uh, I don't believe you can <coughs> can break them and pick them back up. I do actually, when it is time to upgrade out of InfDev, <coughs> I don't know whether the, uh, the world can be upgraded or not. I'm hoping it can because I wouldn't want to um, put all that time into our museum building and then lose it, but if that's what has to happen, then that's what has to happen. Um, but I am curious if we put something in the minecart and then we uh, upgrade to a version where you can't put stuff inside minecarts, what will happen to the stuff in there? Will it just disappear? Can you even upgrade the world? I don't know. But it could be interesting to find out. I should probably get some more torches too, because I often run out of torches. So I think the plan for now, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is just do some mining, look for some gold, look for some diamonds. And I'm going to want to have lots of torches while we do that. Don't know how long I'm going to stream for today. Maybe an hour-ish, maybe more. Don't know yet, but that's probably plenty of torches. I think we found out these uh, cooked pork chops restore, is it four hearts? I think so. And, uh... Right now, I, I don't think I, that I have the best internet connection, so I'm hoping that doesn't cause any problems. But it looks like um, we're keeping a consistent 60 frames a second, no dropped frames or anything, so that's good. And I don't really rem <coughs> remember... Uh, how we had, you know, where we had been in this cave and where we hadn't. So I'm just kind of wand <coughs> wandering a bit. I don't really like uh, strip mining. I like to mine in caves better than strip mining, but I might try and find a different cave because I don't think that one really had much left in it, if I remember right. It's been a while since the last time I uh, was in this world, but. Let's just go this way for a, while, for a little bit. There's our museum. Um, it'll be nice. Uh, when we get to a version that has working sounds still. I think the next one the sounds work in, but I'm not completely sure about that. I'm gonna try to be careful going down here. Ooh, it's gonna be a, <coughs> a little bit difficult though. Also, I've still got a little bit of a cough. I had um, coronavirus actually a few weeks ago. I still have a little bit of a <coughs> a little bit of a cough, so I apologize about that. 
Hopefully it's not too distracting. It's unfortunate. In this version, uh, if your tool breaks, I think the block disappears and you just like don't get it. Is what it seems like. Which is unfortunate because we just missed out on one iron, but there's plenty of other iron out there to get. So it's not that big a deal. Here's some iron, for example. Oh, I have a working uh, scroll wheel now as well. My scroll wheel for a while uh, did not work. I have a uh, Logitech G203 Prodigy Gaming Mouse is the full name. And um, the scroll wheel just like stopped being able to, sc <laughs> to scroll at one point. Um, and I just kind of, it didn't bother me that much because I don't really scroll very much anyway. I like to use the arrow keys to scroll on web pages and um, in Minecraft I uh, had gotten used to using the number keys after playing on a laptop for a while with like a, a touchpad that I couldn't really scroll very easily on. Uh, but anyway, I found out online recently um, I, you know, I was searching like Logitech G203 scroll wheel to see if like other people had the same problem um i've had this mouse for maybe like five years now uh and apparently it is not uncommon that after having a logitech mouse for a year or more that uh the rubber and the scroll wheel will start to expand um and you know once it expands too much it's it prevents it from scrolling because it like gets stuck on the uh the the like plastic uh you know housing of the mouse um and so one guy uh i found like a reddit post on google where somebody suggested uh just like cutting the rubber off of the scroll wheel and so that there was like plastic underneath it um and so i did that i got an exacto knife and i did some surgery on the scroll wheel and um there is indeed just smooth plastic under that, and it just works perfectly. It scrolls very smoothly. No problems at all. Um, and so I'm still using the number keys, just because, like, I'm used to them. I've been using them for so long, but I often miss <laughs> the right key, as you can probably see from my hotbar. So I might try to get into the habit of using the scroll wheel instead. Um, now that I have one that works. Although, I don't know. I'll see what happens. I wish we had uh, dual wielding in this version. I think that's like, what, 1.9 was it that they added that? And I've gotten so used to it now. <clears throat> Especially, you know, when you're caving, it's nice to have... Um, pickaxe in your main hand and torch in your other hand, but now that I have a scroll wheel, it's not too hard to just go back and forth between them, so it's really not that big a deal. I'm seeing a lot of iron down here, but no gold or diamonds yet. I guess uh, you have to be low enough for them to show up, don't you? Hopefully this cave will go low enough. Uh, okay. Because I would like to find some diamonds. We're gonna need a, a good amount of diamonds. You need 24 for the uh, all the armor, and then some amount for the uh, you know the tools. And then I'll need a block of diamond and just a diamond. And then that should be everything. Oops. Everything that we need diamonds for anyway. And then we'll need just as much gold for all the gold stuff. And we'll need one extra, actually, because on top of um, 
you know, when you uh, mine gold ore, you pick up the gold ore and then you smelt it into gold ingots, right? And when you mine diamond ore, you just pick up a diamond. It just drops a diamond. So you can't actually get uh, diamond ore in this version. I think uh, the earliest is probably 1.0. That's when you can, um, when you get like enchanting and so you can, you can just silk touch it, obviously. And then... What about Enderman? Although I don't think it was always the case that an Enderman would uh, drop the block it was holding when you killed it. I think that was probably after 1.0. I'll, maybe I'll do some research later. Um, anyway, it's going to be a while until we can actually get Diamond Ore, but we can get Gold Ore now, so we'll need one more Gold than Diamond because of that. I realize it's pretty dark down here. Oh, this just keeps going and going. But no gold or diamonds yet. Which is a little bit disappointing. Okay, I'm going to continue my strategy of... Um, blocking off the uh, areas that I've been to already. That should help us explore this in a pretty orderly fashion. Oh, but it really does just keep going, doesn't it? I'm trying to go down as much as I can to hopefully find some diamonds. So I think uh, those show up more at the lower levels, don't they? And I would assume the same is true for gold. I haven't seen too many mobs yet. Saw one zombie, one creeper. <coughs> maybe we'll see some more later, maybe not. Um, I do need... Have I gotten string yet? I think I have gotten string. I can't remember, actually. I guess we'll have to wait <laughs> until the uh, S's scroller... Uh, until we get to the S's on that that marque at the bottom. Oh, we haven't put a furnace yet in our museum. That's a little surprising. I was thinking it would probably just take one or two more streams to get everything for this version, but uh, if we don't see any diamonds, <laughs> that number is probably going to go up. Because we need, uh, I think, like at least 30 diamonds. And I have not seen a single one yet. Oops. Didn't mean to put two there. So I'm hoping this works good. I did... Uh, you know, I tried to stream once before at 60 FPS, and it kind of did not uh, look very good, if I remember right. So I went back to 30. Or I was planning to go back to 30. I guess I didn't have any more streams since then. Um, but I did a little test, like, recording. Just, like, non-streaming, just recording uh, at 60 FPS. I opened up, um, I made a new, like a, like, a World 2 in Minecraft. Uh, and tested it out there. And it looked fine on the recording. 
Um, and I'm looking at Twitch right now on my other monitor, and it looks okay. It looks like the bitrate could be better. I don't know if that's my internet or if I need to like change a setting in OBS. I'll look around some in OBS when we're done today, but uh, anyway, it seems like it's pretty smooth. Which, <coughs> which is good. I'd like to go over here next. Have I been up here already? No. Oops. Well, lost a little bit of iron, but we've got plenty of iron. And there's no sneaking, so I should be careful. Yeah, I really uh, would not like to have to strip mine. That's going to be kind of a goal. No strip mining. Or maybe even a roll. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that you really need to strip mine for. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that you can only find underground now that's a little... Uh, like, what's it called? Um, emeralds, although you do see emeralds in caves sometimes. Um, ancient debris. I think there's, like... I honestly have never looked for ancient debris before. Um, but I think you'll just, like, find that, like, exposed sometimes, I would assume. I don't think you ever actually have to strip mine. But it might speed some stuff up, but makes it a little boring, I think, to strip mine. Oh, no diamonds or gold at all yet. So once I run out of torches, we'll head back. Oh, I just realized when I get up to the surface, I'm not really going to know what direction I came from, am I? <laughs> uh, I'll have to... I don't think we went very far, though, so I'll just have to, like, find a tall hill and look around from the top of it. Let's go down here. Oh, there is just always more and more cave. I'm pretty excited about this new uh, new graphics card, though. I got a new uh, processor as well. Um, and I've been able to play... Uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access uh, version 0 0.2 just came out. It's called um, For Science. Uh, that update is called. And I've been able to actually play it at like a pretty good frame rate. Um, which is exciting because I like Kerbal Space Program and I'm excited to try out the uh, version 0.2. That was actually what uh, inspired me to uh, see if I could <laughs> find a way to fix this mouse um, was you can't uh, in Kerbal Space Program 1 
you use scrolling for like to zoom in and out. Uh and you can but you can like rebind like keys to do that instead. So I have like equals to zoom in and, and, and dash to zoom out. Um but in KSP two you can't uh rebind that yet. And so you like actually need a, a scroll wheel. If you want to zoom that is. I was able to get to the moon <laughs> uh without zooming but then I was like, this is going to be really annoying to do anything more. And you, you kind of need to middle click to like move up and down in the, in the vehicle assembly building in KSP2. Because you can, you can like middle click and drag to like move, to like pan the camera around in the VAB. I think you can do that in KSP1 as well. But in KSP1, you can also use page up and page down to move the view up and down. And I don't think they have something like that in ksp2 you have to like middle click and drag up and down and middle clicking was a little a little weird on that old mouse um well on this mouse that it's the same mouse but it feels like a new mouse <laughs> now that i can actually uh use the scroll wheel so anyway i'm i'm pretty excited about that get to play some ksp2 um and yeah with the new graphics card it uh and the i think they made some changes in version 0.2 that have improved the uh the performance um so I, I don't know how much is the graphics card and how much is just that it's 0.2 well no i do know how much is the graphics card i tried to run 0.1 it was 0.1.56 i forget whatever was the newest version right before 0.2 i tried to run that uh because I actually got this graphics card a little bit before they released that update. Um, and it was like single digit frames per second at the like the KSC, the Kerbal Space Center. Um, like not even like on the launch pad, just like before you even go into a building that like hub area. Um, but now it's 60 frames a second there, or at least 60. I guess I have I have VSync turned on. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Definitely a big part of it is the um, the new the update. And I'm running it through uh through Proton. Um, since I am a Linux person and not really a Windows person. Um. So I'm, I'm sure on Windows it performs even better, but anyway, I'm able to run it on the lowest graphics settings, and it, it's great. I get at least 60 FPS. The only uh, slowdown I've had is when I got close to the surface of the moon, um, and I guess, I don't know if it was from loading in the like terrain scatter, the like rocks and stuff, or maybe it was from, uh, maybe it was like a new LOD when it got closer to the surface, a new level of detail for the terrain mesh. Um, I'm not sure what exactly it was, but I, the frame rate dropped down to like 10, 20, something, something in that range, uh, which is unfortunate. But other than that, it has performed great. I think I already have a brown mushroom. Well, there's brown mushrooms all over the place on the surface anyway. So I guess we'll just go until either this pick breaks or I run out of torches, whichever happens first, and then we'll turn around and go back to uh, the house. Maybe we'll stop by the museum on the way. Now that I have a couple of uh, gold, I can drop off one gold ore there. So now we have to find our way out of this place. We've been in this cave for a while too. This this one really uh really went to a lot of places. <clears throat> yeah, this way. I've been placing torches on the right wall uh while I go into the cave, which means to come out of the cave I need to have the torches on the left wall. A little trick.
I'm sure it's a pretty well-known trick, but a trick nonetheless. Yeah, so no diamonds, but two gold. I'm sure if we keep uh, looking around down here, we'll find some more gold and eventually some diamonds. Uh, this way, okay. Is this the right way? Yes. That isn't the... Down here. Yes, I see another torch. Do we have a lava bucket yet? I don't know if we do. Well, we'll get it later. I was gonna say I could smelt some iron right now and get a bucket to get some lava with, but we'll we'll no reason to do it now over another time. Although I do need a a furnace for the the museum as well. But we'll worry about it later. I don't really remember walking past that, but I guess I must have. Oh, we really did uh, go for a while in here. That was a little, little hole there. Didn't see it. <clears throat> but once we get uh, diamonds and we make those diamond tools, one of them will be a diamond pickaxe. And we can use that to get obsidian, which is one of the blocks that we need. And I know where we can find obsidian. There was plenty of it down there. Not down there, but anyway. Um, okay. Make our way back to the surface here. I think we're almost there. Hopefully it's daytime outside. Um, and then we'll make our way to the top of some kind of hill so that we can look around and then find our way home. We come from up there. Guess so. Don't know why I didn't make a staircase. And those are facing the wrong way now. Okay. <laughs> we came from this direction. Yes. No. Oh, here's a pig. I guess I just put the torches on the wrong side for a little bit there. Maybe I should move those. Well, no, because... Okay, I... <laughs> might be a little bit lost. gonna move this torch over here because so I feel like it was supposed to be over there. How did this pig get down here? We have to be close to the surface. Right, because I don't think they spawn in caves. Maybe they do.
Maybe it's up here. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it is still dark outside. Hmm. So we didn't bring any wood with us to make sticks. Well, let's see what we see out there. No mobs here right now. Which is good. Another cave. I feel like we came from that direction. I see some light. So I'm going to go that way. Oh, I should be more careful about not taking fall damage. I'll put a torch over there so I know how to get back here. Alright. Yeah, so I believe our house is that way. See the wood. Oh, that was bad. Looks like our wheat hasn't grown much. I guess the uh, the chunk hasn't been loaded. Today's haul, we got over a stack of iron, which is good because we need that for pickaxes. Oh, we have some gold already. Okay. Just not very much. So, okay, I think I'm going to plant um, some of this wheat. I want to keep those torches. There was nothing in these, were there? Oh, there is some stuff in there. All right. I think we have iron armor already, don't we? Yes. <clears throat> Let's just look through the list and see what is in it. So block of diamonds, not going to happen anytime soon. Block of gold, also not going to happen soon. None of this stuff with diamonds. A furnace. Okay. Let me go through the list and see what we can make. But I can make a furnace real quick. And then glass we've already got. I'm not going to worry about the gold stuff until we have a lot of gold. Um, but I can get one of those gold ore and bring it. And then a lava bucket. And leather boots, caps, and pants, which we need wool for. <clears throat> so we'll have to find some sheep for wool sooner or later. Let's get a bucket. <laughs> and we can get some lava later. 
Um, let's see, how is the moon looking? Oh, it's almost all the way down. Perfect. I am going to make some more pickaxes and torches while we're here. We're about out of coal. But there's been plenty of coal in those caves that I've just been skipping, so... We can bring our extra sticks with us and uh, turn it into torches while we're there. This was back before you could uh, shift click on stuff in the, the crafting table or the inventory or those other places. So, pickaxe. Sorry, I put these things uh, <laughs> not quite where I had meant to put them. Okay. That's perfect. It's nice and bright outside now as well. Looking very good. Okay, so let's head on down to the museum and drop these things off. We'll be on the lookout for some sheep as well to get wool for the rest of that leather armor. Let me get which pulled back up. I guess uh, we'll drop off everything but the lava bucket at the, uh, well, everything but the lava bucket is two things. We'll drop off the furnace and the gold ore. Oh, well, I could have brought a gold ingot as well. I'll do that next time. I'll drop off the furnace and the gold ore um, at the museum, and then we'll go back to our mine down there, do some mining, get some lava. Okay, so... A furnace. Where is furnace in the alphabetical order? Furnace is between flint and steel and glass. Okay. And today's what? 2023, December 22nd. Um, in my spreadsheet with all this stuff, I'm keeping track of when I got everything. Because I think it, that'll be, you know, you can make some graphs and stuff later on. Okay, so before gravel, there's one, two, three, four empty spots, and then gold ore. One, two, three, four, and then gold ore. Okay. Great. We still need a red mushroom also. Oh, I should uh, update the, uh, the OBS display as well. Forgot to do that. So I have a like a formula set up in Google Sheets. Um that just um Oh I forgot to okay. Sorry. <laughs> I have this formula set up in Google Sheets that like gives me the string to paste into OBS. Um, and as I was explaining that, it, I was looking at it and it like was not the right string. But um, I realized I had forgotten to actually check off gold ore in the spreadsheet. Okay, so then I'll just go here and then I'll paste it. That should work. Uh, why does it look wrong? It's like cut off there. I think I messed up the, one of the OBS filters here. 
Oh, that's exactly what I did, actually. Okay. There. I had the OBS filter set to, to crop the... the text element. Um, and as the string got shorter, I mean, it's when you set something to crop an OBS, instead of being, like, cropped to this width, it's cropped this much off of the right of this element uh, or the left or whatever other uh, direction and so I had it set to crop this many pixels off the right of the element and then as the element got smaller it you know the cropped element got smaller too and then eventually it was smaller than it needed to be but I realized I can just not crop it and just let it go off the side of the screen and that is fine so that's what I'm doing now a little bit of behind the scenes information. So I believe that uh, cave we were in before is somewhere over here. Put a torch outside of it. I realize there's other caves here, but I want to, you know, finish that one before I start another one. Oh, there's a torch. Although, didn't this cave, like, have a big drop right at the entrance? <laughs> Maybe there's multiple entrances. Is this the same cave? I don't actually know. Well, anyway, we're going into this cave. And we'll see what we can find. Oops. Anything up there? Nope, doesn't look like it. So we can go ahead and, uh... Oh, I should have gotten dirt or cobblestone, or something else to make these. I'm going to have to be, like, mining uh, stone while I'm down here. I like making the walls out of cobblestone more than dirt, just because, like, dirt does generate naturally in caves, and so it's not obvious that it's, like, me blocking it off. It's, like, maybe that's just... Well, I guess I can see a torch on the other side. Yeah, so dirt... I don't know. I kind of like the cobblestone better just because it looks more obvious that it was, like, put there on purpose. Um, and that way I know it's not just like, oh, there's, like, a room behind here. I should go see what's in it. But since there's going to be a torch on the other side, that's, like, I guess enough uh, evidence. What's over here now? Oh, okay, so this definitely wasn't the right cave because there is nothing down here. Let me make a sign. Just to remind myself in the future. Let's do it like that. Okay. <laughs> it's the least important part of that uh, sign placing, but anyway. 
So then where did I go before? I know it was like a big opening. Oh, it was here. <laughs> Let's see what's down here this time. I've already been up there. Let's block it off. And I've been down there. So we can block that off. In fact, we can block... Yeah. I would like to see what's up here. And I am actually going to get uh, an E. coal that I see now. Even though that'll make this take a little bit longer. Um, we were running out of coal before. I don't think we have any coal left, actually. Turned it all into these torches that I'm carrying. So we'll get any coal that we see. Um, and that way we will have coal. And we can also turn that into torches uh, in case our torches run out before our pickaxes, which is not looking very likely. Maybe I should make more than two pickaxes next time. Yeah, especially since we're, we'll have to mine uh, this cobblestone. That'll make it run out quicker. been there before. Okay. That's this entire area done. I really should have brought <laughs> um, some cobblestone with me. Oh, some iron. That doesn't count as strip mining. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, need to be more careful. Okay. This cave, uh, can only have so much cave in it, so eventually we'll have done the entire cave and then we'll move on to the next one. And, you know, eventually we'll find the diamonds and the gold that we need. If we run into some monsters on the way, it could make it a little more interesting. But we'll see what happens. This is a little strange. Oh, there's nothing down here anyway. We can look over here, though. Get this iron. Get this coal. Probably am going to start skipping a lot of the coal, just because my pickaxe is definitely going to break before the... Oh, although, you know, I'm mining all this iron, and I brought all this wood with me to make torches with. Uh, 
So I can just like use the coal I was going to make torches with to um, smelt some of this iron that I'm getting and then use the sticks from the torches for, uh, you know, that with the iron to make the pickaxe. So I'll be able to make more pickaxes to replenish these ones that I'm breaking. So I might as well just get all the coal that I see. I guess the, uh, with like the minecarts and stuff, you could like, um, the fact that you can put items in them and that they're called, you know, minecarts, it's like maybe you're supposed to bring them with you into caves and like make tracks as you go. Uh, but like you don't get anywhere near enough iron for that to like work <laughs> uh but i wonder if that's what like they were going for they had balanced it a little differently giving you more iron that could have worked but then that's that's a lot of iron to give the player maybe uh rails could have been cheaper Some more coal. We're going to have <laughs> plenty of coal. was a lot of coal in one vein. Why is this on? How did we get here? Is it from up here? I guess so. Yeah, okay. So that's that whole area now. Can block that off. Ooh. And it just keeps on going. <laughs> I guess I should be trying to go down more and up less. Get this iron though for pickaxes. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, that in the future, maybe I'll try and stream some other games like Rebel Space Program. Maybe Half-Life or Portal. Could be fun. If I can come up with, you know, interesting uh, little challenges to do in them. <clears throat> I, mean, I know there's already been plenty uh, of challenges found. Well, not found isn't the right word, but there, there's lots of different challenges out there that people have done for uh, for Half-Life games and for Portal games. I think that kind of thing is fun to watch. So probably fun to do as well.
probably, you know, nothing, no, no kind of regular schedule still. Um, so I am a, a graduate student. I'm on winter break right now, but, you know, most of the time I'm going to be, you know, doing schoolwork. <laughs> so I like the just kind of stream whenever you feel like it arrangement. Ooh, a red mushroom. Perfect. Maybe I'll try and I think mushrooms spread. Uh, I think they do in this version. I, I actually don't know. I have no idea if they spread in this version. Maybe they don't. Um, I, I just I just feel like that should be a thing that mushrooms should do as soon as you add them into the game. They should be able to spread. Uh, but perhaps they don't. If they do spread, I can. I would like to spread it so I can have a red mushroom and also another red mushroom to craft mushroom stew with. Or maybe we'll run into another mushroom anyway, and it won't matter. Okay, so I been up there already. I'm trying to block off uh, anything that would make a cycle as well. So I don't, you know, so I know where, what I've fully explored and what I haven't. Doing a, a depth first search, you could say. Well, not exactly a depth first search because sometimes I'm turning around before I need to, but anyway, a search. I'm going to get some more cobblestone so I can block this pathway off. I could have done that more efficiently, but whatever. Um, okay. And then I guess I can block this path off. So that's everything down here. I'm gonna get this coal. Yeah, this uh particular session is gonna be a lot of mining. <laughs> and probably the rest of this version is gonna be a lot of mining. Everything there. How did we get here? There's a question I would like to know the answer to. Oh, through this. Okay. And did we fully explore this area? I don't think that we did. No, we can still go up there. Get some more cobblestone while I'm here. Okay. Is there anything up here? More cave, maybe? Yes. Oh, a lot more cave. Iron. Good to have iron for. Let me uh, make a furnace just because I'm worried my pick is going to break at a time when I don't have a lot of cobblestone. And then I won't be able to get cobblestone to make a furnace with. So just make one right now and not worry about it.
been through there now. And that was a long, narrow hallway. But looks like there is nothing else down here. Okay. So then that's everything up here, except for this coal. And there goes the pick. Okay. So we'll smelt a little bit of iron. So, yeah, that's everything up here except for this coal, which means everything in this whole little area here. So it'll be time to move on pretty soon. And then we kind of, you know, Go on to another part of the cave. Only so many places that that, that gold and those diamonds can be. <laughs> if it, if it goes on for, let's see, after the next stream, if I still haven't found any diamonds, I will start strip mining. Just cause I don't want <laughs> to be here for months, you know? looking for diamonds um but i really don't want to strip mine if i don't have to let me take a look at something real quick Okay, so I'm looking at what's it, what it'll be in the next version. I don't think there's that many new things. No, there aren't. Okay. So in the next version, oh, it stops uh, smelting when you pause the game. Oops. There's a reason they call it pausing. Okay. So in the next version, we've got cobblestone stairs, golden apples, which I believe you found in... um. What's it called? Dungeons? Um, iron doors, levers, mossy cobblestone, oak pressure plates, oak stairs. I guess back then they were just wooden pressure plates and wooden stairs. Um, redstone dust, redstone torches, saddles, which are a dungeons thing, stone buttons, and stone pressure plates. We actually... Uh, Yeah, I believe they were wooden. I'm trying to um, make this spreadsheet have the name of the items when they added them. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just so that, like, I, I don't get it, and then I'm like, wait, this is a different thing. <laughs> I want to have the name when they added it, and then in, like, parentheses, I have, like, the name now. Just so I don't get confused. Make a couple more pickaxes here. This furnace. And get this crafting table. Okay, so that's... Oh, we didn't get all the coal. <laughs> the whole... I gave a whole speech about how we needed to get this coal first. Okay. Not a whole speech, but... A couple sentences. Okay, so... That is everything now from this area. I think down here there was a little opening. Maybe. Yes. And we came from down here. Great. So we can block this off even now. Perfect. Okay. 
Let's see what we can find down this way now. Another loop. Oops, I fell. So that's a pretty big area completed now. Let's look around this place now. Nothing in there. Okay. A little bit of coal. Maybe even more than a little bit. And some iron. Okay. See some more iron down there. And some coal up here. But I think uh in this big room here we might have gotten all the little exits out of this room now. That whole area, that, everything over there. Everything that way. This is coming out of here, okay. And then, I'm a little confused. I don't understand if, uh, where does this go? Okay, I think some of those torches are just on the wrong side of the wall. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's look over here next. So we did not actually get everything yet down here. Just keeps going and going.
it over here, yes. Even over there as well. Okay. So let's check this out now. Just some coal. Cool. <clears throat> Now already. Lock that off. And our pick broke. So we'll get our other one out. So that is everything down here now. So that can be blocked off. Into this. Now let's look down here. Not a lot. <laughs> oh, there actually is some more. There's some lava. And get our lava bucket here. And I think I remember uh, when you when you see lava, you know that you're at the right level for like diamonds and stuff. I don't know if that's true in this version, <laughs> but if it is, then good. Do I see pitches of light up there? Yeah, I think I see light up there. Okay. And coal, yes, but we've got a lot of coal. Well, there's not that much up there anyway. Let's just get it. And yeah, that bowl that we filled in was right there. Perfect. Okay. And did we already do everything down here? Yes, we did. We can go ahead and block this off now. I'm going to block this off here. Okay. So 
that is everything that's down here. Uh, double placing those on accident. Get rid of that water. Hot end. Been down there already. That's the same place. Okay. Let's try this direction. Oh yeah, lava didn't used to actually <laughs> disappear that easy, did it? I'm not going to get that coal, especially with the lava right there. Oh, I just tried to sprint jump, but there is not sprinting. down there. No reason to go again. That's a big, uh, a very wide area to block off. Iron. Should probably get that. So then, what else is there to explore down here? I can go up here next.
Ooh. Maybe I'll go see what's down here. Maybe this will bring us a little closer to diamonds and gold. No. Fortunately, it would not seem so. Let's look over here next. <clears throat> There's a skeleton over there. I was saying, I hope we ran into some mobs to ah, make it a little more interesting. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage to me. Not too much though. And just some more iron down here. Which I would like to get. And we just lost that part. <laughs> oh well. Get some more cobblestone. So we've been down there already. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. I mean, I, obviously diamonds are, like, rare. Um, but, like, I'm surprised we haven't seen a single one yet. Nothing up there, it looks like. <clears throat> Having a little bit of trouble with that. Okay. So that is everything down here. Bit more iron. Pickaxe broke. Time to smelt some more. And this seems like a good place to take a little break because I'm getting a little a little bit hungry. So I'm going to uh, I'll make something to eat, and I'll be back you know, sooner or later. And then we can uh smelt that iron and make some new pickaxes and keep on mining.
Okay. Had a sandwich. It's pretty tasty. Time to get back to mining. Why did I take damage when I logged in? That was weird. Anyway. Oh, the game crashed. Uh, okay. <laughs> One minute. Wonder if those two things were related. Again, taking damage as I log in. Very strange. And the game crashed. I can't open the... Hmm. Is it because I... closed the game while something was smelting? Did that break it? Uh-oh. Hold on. That's not good. Huh. Hmm. That's very not good. Did the world get corrupted? Uh oh. Although there's a lot of, uh, I'm looking at the save file, and there's a lot of, are those chunks? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I'm going to end stream and see if I can figure out if there's any way to recover that.